wish comes on him. We know that the Lord has a word that he's going to minister to us through our pastor. Amen. You just got to tune in and recognize when the Lord speaks to you. You can have a hundred people in here giving the same message, but everybody receiving something different. Amen. It will fit where you are at. So now, uh, after the choir has sung a hymn or song of choice, a very important prayer would be none other than this great man, this uh, elder doctor, G. Gray Murphy. Amen. In the name of the voices.
question for the preaching of it. God, we need your word like never before. Speak to your people, God. And we pray, Lord, that your word will hit the target. Yes, God. That someone thereby hearing will become doers and be edified and be directed and be instructed and be commanded to do what thus saith the Lord. Bless those who are listening even on social media today, God. Bless them where they are in the country that they are in right now. We know how that you look upon all of us because you are everywhere at the same time. And you have all power in your hand. Bless this word, God, and the words of my mouth and the sweet meditations of my heart to be acceptable in your sight. For you are my strength and my redeemer. That the people of God say amen. Amen. So glad that you have joined us today. Amen. Worship has been high. The presence of the Lord is here. Amen. Amen. Can anybody feel it? Oh, yeah. I know we lay us and I can feel it now in my soul. Thank God for all of you today. This morning you will find me in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12.
biggest and the most deepest obstacles you will ever have to overcome. Let me say this one more time. The biggest and the most deepest obstacle that you will ever have to overcome is your own mind. All right. If you can overcome that, you can overcome everything. We are designed to endure. The race is not given to the quickest, the quickest nor the strongest. But it is given to the one who endures. Amen. See, my brothers and sisters, the life of a Christian can be described in one of four ways. As a journey. As a battle. Amen. As a pilgrimage. And as a race. You can select your own metaphor, but the necessity <laughs> to finish is always the same. For if life is a journey, it must be completed. If life is a battle, it must be finished. If life is a pilgrimage, then it must be concluded. And if life is a race, then it must be finished. The Apostle Paul said, I fought a good fight. Yes. I have kept the faith. And I have finished, somebody say finished, finished. my course. Since so it is God who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. When we quit before we finish, we are actually quitting on God. Turn to the neighbor. neighbor. Don't quit on God. Because he who has begun a good work in you will finish it. I'm a work in progress. He's working on me. I ain't going to quit before he finishes the project. to know about quitting. From our text this morning, we can see three important things. Not four important things. We can see four important things. We have four points here which tell us why we should not quit on God. It takes patience. But the fourth thing, first we see in the text, we see, we see the cloud. It says, therefore, if we also are surrounded Amen. by so great a cloud of witnesses. Often wondered, there's been several meanings of what that cloud could be. But I believe it's also a here cloud and also a over there cloud. Amen. There are people that are here. Amen. That's a cloud that's all around you. All right. Uh, they are enduring. Amen. You don't go through anything. We, none of us go through anything more difficult than the other person. Can I get a witness? But there are people all around you who go through things. You never know what they may go through. But they're still here. They're still pressing. Can I get a witness? And we have that for our witness. When you feel like giving up, just look at the person who just might be just a little bit worse than you. Or worse off than you. But yet they're still holding on. Can I get a witness? They, uh, for some of us, it ain't, it ain't easy. Life is difficult. We all have a cross to bear. And, and, but we all have witnesses that are here, amen, around us. And are there witnesses that if you just hold on, everything will be all right? If there's somebody here who's been going through difficulties, catching hell from every side, 
but you're still here. You're still giving God praise, amen. You still have a thank you on your lips. You are not letting your circumstances kill you. Turn to your neighbor and say, you don't even know the half of it. Can I get a word? He's writing my story. Can I get a word? It ain't all. 
always good, but all things are working together for my good. I didn't think every day ain't Sunday kind of with us, but he's offering it. He's writing my story. And not only will he write your story, but he will finish your story. Yeah. Can I Can somebody just take a time out and thank God right now, even before he finishes it, because he's the law. Thank you. 